Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 3rd, 2020. Well, my goodness. Hey, looks like the blog is going to be good this morning. So everyone, if you want to check out the blog, make sure and follow the link just underneath the title of the video. And that's where you'll see um, the full list of notable earnings and uh, different comments on the market. But this morning, we are looking at a market. We set new records in this in the S&P 500 yesterday, and we continue to try and push and drive and and, and push uh, new records um, just relentlessly in this market. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's buckle up and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So yesterday we had that little shot lower in the morning. We had that a gap down we slipped down more than 200 points and then those bulls took over pushing us back up now the dow wasn't able to make a breakout here notice that we're still kind of struggling in this little wedging pattern here on uh, the dow trying to push higher but there are a few things out there posing some problems while the s p 500 made new record highs yesterday we also hit new records in uh, covid hospitalizations topping over a hundred thousand um we heard la going into a full shutdown um stay-at-home orders in los angeles and we had a new record death toll of over 3100 folks yesterday um it makes me wonder how much longer we can ignore these growing impacts, um, particularly with the months that we still have ahead of us of trouble. As a matter of fact, the um, CDC, the head of the CDC said the next few months could be the most challenging in U.S. history. But right now, it just doesn't seem to matter. Now, we had record holiday sales. So that is certainly inspiring the bulls. And of course, we have this new conversation as um, Pelosi and uh, Sch Schumer have decided to downgrade their um, their push for that $2.2 trillion stimulus package and have gotten behind a $900 billion package that may have some hope of passing Congress. Keep in mind that um, December 11th, December 11th, we face a, a government shutdown if they don't pass a new spending bill increasing our debt in the nation. And it just seems remarkable to me that debt doesn't seem to matter anymore. Um, there will be impacts to this. Um, mark my words, um, as we continue to celebrate every time we add more and more debt to um, our economy, just keep in mind that there will be a payback period for that. So um, just watch that closely. Um, but right now, if we take a look at the indexes, there's just nothing in here that the bulls don't like. Um, no price seems to be too high. We just push and push and push for um, new um, price levels in the market. And although we're just, we finished the day just right below 30,000 in the Dow, um, we have that opportunity that we could push on through and recapture that 30,000 level here uh, pretty soon. You can see we've got that bullish trend going on and there's just no pullback on these bulls at all. We continue to stretch and stretch and stretch um, this economy. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Very, very strong, setting that new record high. And once again, I wanna remind everyone that we really are a long ways from our 50-day moving average. And so when we push ourselves that far above these averages, we just have to remember that possibility that that profit-taking wave could come in at any time. Remember, at some point in time, we may suddenly decide to care about what's happening in the economy and um, we had kind of some hints in the beige book yesterday that the economy is showing um, some signs of slowing so it'll be interesting today to see those jobless claims coming out um, here before the market opens see how the market responds to that if if we continue to see that growth 
um, or if that is starting to slow down. So watch that closely today. But we have a bullish move here in the market. It's just relentless. Notice that there's really no, we can't get a selling uh, move. The bears have no teeth whatsoever. We push down, the bulls just fight right back. Just the relentless push to um, go higher and higher and higher. Now we've seen this before at times and it usually ends badly. And what I mean by that is we push and we push and we push until we exhaust everything and then we get this ugly sell off. So as we continue to push higher, I wanna to continue to say, let's follow the trend, let's continue the party, um, but be ever thoughtful about the risks that you're taking and that possibility that we could get that overnight reversal when we suddenly decide to care what's going on in the economy and we get that hard pullback. So watch closely, be careful not to over trade in a market like this. Um, it's really easy to get um, inspired to, to just buy and buy and buy and buy and buy, but that one day um, can cause an awful lot of damage if we do decide to reverse. Now we may not, we may continue to push this up right in through the Santa Claus rally, who knows? Um, I don't know when the turn's gonna happen and I'm certainly not trying to predict when it's going to happen. Just that little bit of caution to be careful not to overtrade in case we do get that pullback. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ here. As you can see, the NASDAQ breaking that downtrend solidly and we are spiking big time here in that NASDAQ, pushing and pushing and pushing for those new highs. And I wanna make note that even if we kind of um, uh, go off of this trend, we're actually stretching away from the short-term trend here in the market, and we continue to stretch away from that 50-day moving average, causing me a little concern if we do catch um, uh, that selling wave in the market. So just be careful not to overtrade. Bulls are definitely in control, and they are not giving up or and not giving one inch, and the bears just don't seem to have any energy whatsoever. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has been truly impressive here for some time now. And as you can see, continuing to stretch higher. Um, we're up here at those new record levels here in IWM and continue to try to push higher. Right now we're kind of being capped here by this little resistance high, but notice we're not giving much uh, ground here to those bears. So more of a consolidation in here and it's possible that we could see that consolidation last for a period of time as we allow these averages to catch up or so they're so far behind on those averages. Um, and that does worry me a little bit if we do um, get that selling wave that uh, begins. It could be a shocking move um, if it does occur, and I'm not suggesting that it will. We could continue this party right through the end of the year and maybe longer, who knows. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. This was kind of interesting yesterday. Um, notice that the VIX, as we were pushing higher, setting new records, the VIX was also responding higher yesterday. Kind of an interesting situation. The last two days that we've pushed up, the VIX has found some buyers in here. So watch that carefully. Right now, there's really no major fear in here. We could just be pushing back up to test the resistance of that 500-day moving average. But if we were to happen to break back above that, if that fear does start to perk up, um, break back above that, maybe coming up in here to test the downtrend of that little move right there. And I don't think it's going to get any kind of serious until we break above that downtrend and hold it as support. That's where the problem could occur, if it does occur, and I'm not suggesting that it will. But let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at our T2122. And I got to tell you, this one continues to give me the biggest concern here overall. T2122, you can go back as far as you want in history. And anytime we push up here into this level between 90 and um, 100 into this level, we eventually get a pullback. Now we can linger up here for a period of time and that's what we've been doing. We've been lingering and lingering and lingering up here, um, trying to hang on. And you can see we've had periods up here where we linger around in these upper levels for a while, but eventually we always find 
um, that pullback. Now that pullback doesn't necessarily mean the market has to collapse. We could go into a longer term consolidation and that would draw this back down. And remember, this is just a, a four week new high, new low ratio. And when we push these markets too high, we kind of overheat for a bit and then the profit takers come in. So watch that. We've been pushed up here for quite a while and I've been talking about this for a while. Still no pullback in the market but watch it close as that we continue to press, it could easily occur at any time. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has um, that jobless claim number on it. And if you happen to catch, there was a story, it was kind of buried in the corner of um, CNBC, but there was a story out just yesterday um, I think it was yesterday, maybe it was Tuesday, that um, jobless claims have not been reported correctly for some time. As a matter of fact, there was conversation that they are very much underreported in places and some places are actually double and triple counting um, on the other side. So kind of an interesting situation in here. Um, a watchdog group is saying that that number is not anywhere close to accurate. Now it's gonna be interesting this morning because we saw yesterday in the Beige Book report an indication that um, the economy is beginning to slow due to the COVID impacts. Jobless claims you would think would be on the rise because restaurants shutting down, bars shutting down, um, uh, gyms shutting down, all of these different places going into shutdowns and lockdowns. Um, obviously, people are going to be losing jobs when that occurs, but we've not seen that jobless claims uh, make any major uh, move to the upside. The consensus this morning on the jobless claims is we're going is to see a, a marginal increase from 778 last week to 780 this week. So just a little tiny marginal increase. But I'm beginning to wonder if we're not going to one day see a pretty big spike in this number. I don't know if it'll be today, but let's watch that closely and that could affect the market. Also keep in mind, we have the ISM and we have the um, natural gas report. Usually the ISM services and, and natural gas probably not going to affect the market at all. And of course the Fed balance sheet here today. But again, nobody cares about debt. It, it doesn't matter how many trillions of debt they put on, nobody seems to care about that anymore. So let's keep an eye on that uh, jobless claims this morning. That could be kind of interesting. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time that you have seen these videos, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And remember the purpose of these videos is not to provide the hype and the drama and things that you might see in other places. It's really to look at the technicals and try to focus in on the things that could be affecting the market today. Now, one of those things I want to bring up this morning is yesterday, Congress in a unanimous vote, that's kind of odd that we see something in a unanimous vote, voted to pass a bill that will require all Chinese listed companies to conform to U.S. accounting uh, practices. And what that means um, could be ha have some major impacts on Chinese issue stocks. Watch those t things today. There could be some volatility in that move. Now, we haven't heard the response from China on this, but we could see some things um, uh, shoving around it. There's going to be some tough decisions um, investors may have to make on some of these Chinese issue stocks because China has long held that all of that information is Chinese secrets and they refuse to um, to use that. Well, if they're going to be in competition here in the U.S., it looks like they're going to be required to follow the same accounting practices. And that could be interesting. Now, they have a grace period of three years to get it together or they will be delisted from the um, indexes. So watch that closely. We could see some interesting gyrations in some of those Chinese issues stocks today. So that's just one of those things that I like to focus 
focus on rather than the hype and the drama and just the always push, push, push in the market. Let's focus on the details and how we may want to approach the market for the day. And if you guys find that helpful, if you could also please click that um, a thumbs up button and leave a brief comment and please feel free to share these videos out there on your social media platforms and i truly truly appreciate it you guys are awesome channel continues to grow you guys humble me every day and thank you for all of those who do take the time to leave those comments i do read every single one let's take a look at um, the stocks that could be setting up. And remember that every time I post one of these videos um, as a possible trade setup, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence on these charts and make sure this fits your plan. One of the stocks that I think has been really, really impressive in this rally, now it may be priced to perfection, okay and a lot of stocks right now are priced to perfection and beyond but if we take a look at this trend it's undeniable this is a beautiful upside trend here in crocs and notice that it's been relatively stable not a whole lot of big whippy uh, price action in here if you take a look at my drawings on here i had a price alert in that chart and it triggered that price alert the other day but we're just resting in here a couple days of rest on that chart after popping through and and just being challenged by this resistance high up here. So watch this closely. If that can hold in here and pop on through, we could see the next leg higher here in Crocs. Watch that one close. Um, if you take a look at some of the financial sector stocks, I'm going to go to the XLE, which is the Spider Select, um, or excuse me, XLF, Spider Select uh, Financial. Um, ETF and notice how we're holding this up now I still think this is a bit overextended in the short term but if I were to draw a line up through here you could see maybe just a little bit more rest in here and we could see those financial sector stocks look higher so watch those stocks out there like Citibank Bank of America those kind of things we're starting to see lots of bullishness coming into those financial sector stocks and holding up very very well um, don't be surprised if this needs to rest a little bit more but let's keep an eye on those stocks um, I've been building a position in this um, nice profits in the trade already but watch that closely also take a look at those energy stocks XLE energy really held up well now we do have OPEC that's going to be going into conversations whether or not they're going to to hold to their production cuts here in, um, in that arena. But let's watch this closely because energy had a nice little surge yesterday back up. So we've popped up really, really hard. And one of the reasons I like this chart so much is because we broke through some major price resistance in this area. So watch this, if we can hold in here. Now, don't be surprised don't be surprised we see this pattern a lot anymore where we get a pullback we get a one-day pop-up and then we continue into that pullback or consolidation but watch that closely in here for that next opportunity to maybe pick this up now I will let you know that I did pick up some XLE yesterday on a starter position and I also picked up some Exxon Mobil in a starter position now this is a stock position and I'm buying this because I do think oil has a big opportunity to come back here eventually and it pays a tremendous dividend yield here on ExxonMobil so watching that closely and I did pick up um, some some um, risk in that yesterday so um, if that helps you out I don't know take a look at the shippers um, UPS now UPS put a restriction um, yesterday on um, US shippers because they're really hitting capacity and their ability to deliver all of the packages that um, are going out but as you can see we still have a nice little upside trend here and we're consolidating this move so watch this in here if this can start perking up obviously capacity is really really high um, um, or demand is really really high for shipping and I can't imagine uh, these guys uh, doing poorly in the next couple quarters as everyone is buying everything online um, also take a look at FedEx 
pretty good upside potential here in FedEx and continuing to move on up in this trend. Watch that close. Other stocks out there um, that I've mentioned before, take a look at Boot. Boot still setting up in this move. Beautiful upside trend. We popped on through, pulling back, moving over to this trend. Nice little bullish candle yesterday. I still suspect there's that possibility that we could grind sideways here um, until we reach this trend, but watch for that next opportunity to maybe move higher in boot. Also, I've mentioned these before, but keep a close eye on these heavy equipment makers. Uh, John Deere, Caterpillar, um, looking very good, holding up in these nice bullish patterns, trying to look higher. Watch them closely, they are looking quite strong. Not wanting, you can see there's no one here wanting to really sell this off. So watch those for that next possible leg higher. So with that everyone, there's a few stocks for you to consider. I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. And I wanna caution everyone once again to just be careful not to over trade this market as we continue this relentless surge higher. Choose your, uh, your trades very, very carefully. Make sure you're buying stocks near support rather than near price resistance. And um, be safe out there. This COVID stuff is nothing to joke about. 3,100 deaths yesterday here in the United States. This is not a game. Be safe out there. I want to see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have an awesome trading day, everyone.